I like to say the foam rolling and these techniques let the pain out. Now, that's kind of a joke. The idea is not to increase the pain. The idea is to release the pain. So if the, whatever you're doing is not making pain softer and, and better, then you're going too hard. But the idea being that the foam roller and these techniques are to make it easier, they're a little bit painful. And we'll get into the details of how pain is, um, how you focus on pain, okay? Because basically, we all have different versions of pain. You get a paper cut, you say that's painful, right? You get, you know, a last, really, it's like you get a pain, oh, that hurts. Or you get a, you know, you cut yourself up, you need 15 stitches, that hurts too. So we're, wh which one's painful, which one's not? It's a spectrum. So at a certain point, you learn, and this is a mental technique we'll get into the, with the breath control. Um, how many of you like stretching? Okay, you're all different because most people <laughs> hate stretching. No, that's the hardest thing in my job as a trainer. It's the hardest thing is to get people to stretch. And the hardest thing about stretching is breathing and that breath control. People go into panic mode very quickly because they don't have control of their breath, which carries over to the rest of your life as well. So we have tonic phasing muscles, and then we have the concept of tissue quality. Okay, this gets missed and it has been missed for a long time. Tissue quality is really important. Why tissue quality? Because your muscle tissue should resemble raw meat, not beef jerky. People don't think about that. It's like you push on people, you go to your massage therapist, and your massage therapist knows exactly where to work. Says, that's good, that's good. It's like, oh, that's nasty. Okay? So that tissue quality should be, that's, that relates to the level of tone and tension in the muscles. It sh you should be able to have softness in the muscles that contract hard when you want and then release. If you're kind of walking around in this semi-contracted state, that's not optimal for circulation, for movement, all that. So then with tissue quality, we have these other two issues. We have muscle tissue and fascial tissue, connective tissue. Okay, they're, they're, it's all connected in one sense, but they're separate. So muscle is elastic in nature, like rubber band. Fascia is plastic in nature. So fascia is like the first line of flexibility. The skin underneath the surfaces should slide and glide. If everything is stuck together and it doesn't slide and glide, it needs to. So it pulls along the line. So imagine, you know, you have a, a hammock and you pull on the bottom of the hammock, the top of the hammock moves, right? Or if you're wearing tights, you pull on the bottom of the tights. That's how your body is connected, not just from linkages of muscles, but fascial lines. 